Okay, for those of you guys who have electric seats and these knobs, whether it's on the door or on the seat, or these buttons, can break. So if you see this, this is just a pivot point on the bottom. This is the part that is responsible for the seat going backwards and forwards, leaning up and back. But you, if you look really close in there, um, this is just a, again, a pivot point. This is the actual piece that broke. And if you get your fingernail in there and move it forward <clears throat> and back, the seat will move. But it's not very practical, and when you put this back in, when you put this piece back in, it doesn't have anything to go in there. So it basically just swivels and doesn't work. So the trick is, instead of spending $150 on the part alone, and then labor is going to be, well, labor is usually a lot more than the part. To take this out, you got to take, you know, this out and all electronics. How do you fix this? Well, my idea, which is going to work, <clears throat> this is not very deep, but if I can get a screw the right size to screw into there that has the head that will fit into here, it will allow, once I push the switch back on here, it will allow the seat to work properly. Um, and that's going to be a great fix. So I'm going to show you screws and we just got to find the right size. So for those of you who don't have what I'm about to show you, you'll have to go to the hardware store. But over the years, instead of throwing away extra screws, bolts, washers, etc., um, I've saved them. And um, yeah, I mean, most of the time I'm not going to use these things, but when you're doing a project or you have a home fix it, this is a neat little thing, by the way. You dump it out so you can look for it. And then once you find what you need, it fits in a little slot back here. And then you simply pick this up. Of course, with one hand, it's hard to do. But then you just hold it, and it goes into here. But anyway, for now, what I want to do is find a, a screw. And I got a couple, as you see, inside there. That will be small enough to go into the hole I showed you in the car but have a head on it that'll fit inside here. And this one looks close. It may be a little long. So I need a short enough screw with a big enough head but not too big to go into here so that it'll be able to move. So we're going to look through here and see if I can find a couple of options. And then when we do the actual fix, I'll come back. So here we are again and uh, trying to, got a couple of options as far as bolts and screws. <clears throat> so take a look at this thing. The one I think is going to work the best and that fits into this thing the easiest. A little kind of crazy how I'm having to do this, but you know what? This one looks like the best option. It just may be a little too long. But let's see if we can get it to go in. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be way too long. But, hmm. Let's see if we can't screw it in. I don't want to. I may only get one shot at this. Hmm. Okay. So that don't look like it's going to work as good. So my second option, I'm just trying to find <clears throat> a part that'll do, that'll work physically. So if I can cut the end of that off and push it over the round piece in there that's broken, then this end will fit into here. 
so let's just try let's try this we're gonna try cutting that cutting this off I may need to get a better wire cutter because man that is some strong stuff do it off camera because I can't get a grip or proper damn it all right let me go get a better wire cutter all right <clears throat> don't think this is gonna work because I don't think it's big enough well it's close though not a lot of play in there. I wonder if I just used the plastic, what would happen? Let's try that. I don't know if it'll be enough. It doesn't take much to move that thing. Hmm, that may actually work. So let's see. Holy moly. We may have found the trick to this thing. See when I get the screwdriver in there, the seat moves. So this is basically all mechanical problem I have here because the damn thing broke. I think me or somebody else's pants leg caught on it. And it will happen again if it breaks. So we're going to cut off a little more of this. I don't know how much to grab on. Oh man, that could be good. Okay, but let's see if it's too. Oh, this could be perfect. Let's see if we can get that thing on there. You don't want to have to use glue or anything because it's just too small. If I drop it down in there, I'll never get it. And I said that, and I probably jinxed it. Let's come from this angle, see if you can see a little better what I'm doing here. Because the problems, what you call a mashugana problem. If you don't know what mashugana is, ask around till you find somebody who knows what mashugana is. Or maybe I'm mashugana for trying to fix it. But this car ain't worth that much. And I really don't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on a damn fix for something that I don't use much. I mean, it, you could get it in a place where <clears throat> I don't want to break it off anymore. Wow, that's hard to get up on there. Look at that. How much room I got? Hmm. Yeah, I see there's not much room underneath. I may have to. I may have to get the Dremel tool and and actually create a little bit bigger opening right there. Because I have a bigger opening. You see, this will fit around that. You get the idea of what I'm trying to do? Um, at this point, I guess it wouldn't matter if I tried to make that hole a little bigger. It's such a small opening. It's so tight at the bottom of this little thing that this plastic won't even fit. So let me go, okay, everything, you know, I should, you know, nothing's at your fingertips. If I get a Dremel tool and just get God, it only takes a millimeter. So I wonder if I could... I mean, I don't even know if this is going to work. So if I use a Dremel tool, but it's not going to prevent me from fixing it in any other way. We are close to... Let's see if I can't get that on.
my dentistry here. Shitty dentistry. Get that fucking piece out. There we go. Didn't need much of that removed. Fuck this. Okay, you know it kind of reminds me of uh, like a root canal where you put that post in. This is the post and it's fitting pretty tight along there and it's on the spot. I thought the seat goes back further than that, maybe not. Well, seems like it's working okay. Now the whole trick is can I get that to pop on and this little thing to squeeze inside there. Okay, we'll see. Okay, sorry I couldn't show that, but you wouldn't have seen anything in my hands are in the wrong place. And I have to, I can't do certain things, so it's actually more difficult. Anyways, so the, 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 the piece, the doodad that stuck out for this piece that fit into the thingamajiggy broke because of it's it's just in a bad spot. If something gets caught under here, it pulls it off, and if it pulls it off the wrong angle, it can break it. Same thing could happen with any of this too. I don't know why. Okay, so hopefully this is all working. You see how the seat's moving? Let's see. That. See it moves. We'll get it at a good angle just in case it gets stuck. And since nobody really sits in the back, I guess we can pretty much have it all the way back. Um, <clears throat> now, you know, I'm not saying that it's the uh, tightest kind of fix in the world, but I think we got it to where if somebody wants to adjust it, it, it'll work. Um, like I said, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's better than it not working before. And, uh, you know, look, if it works for a week, a month, a year, I, I think it can work a long time. Um, it, it looks good. Is it as good as brand new? Probably not. It worked? Does it work? Yes. So, um, We'll take it for what it is, you know. Um, right now, I think it's good. Um, the thing with this seat is you want to lean it all the way back. You don't use this anyways. This is kind of a fine tuning. You have a <clears throat> knob on the side of the seat in this model, Volvo C70, and this allows people to get in the back seat. Um, or uh, does it lean all the way back with that thing? Yeah, I don't know, whatever. You see how you pull it up and it goes down a little bit, and then you do this. Pull it up and it goes up. So it's got it's got an electric component to it too. Kind of interesting. Anyways, hmm, whatever, whatever. So uh, bottom line is is now we have a, a fix for an electric seat. If you ever have uh, pieces break off, just know that you can. Uh, because it's mechanical, you can pretty much put a screw, or what I use is a, a wire um, crimp, a piece of plastic wire crimp to go around the piece and fit into the actual button. 
and uh, you know, it works. It actually works. So, voila.